Videos of crowded gatherings like these have health officials increasingly concerned tonight as BC's case numbers rise. On the right of your screen, a not so physically distant weekly drum circle in Stanley Park. On the left, partiers getting up close and personal in the Okanagan. These just a few examples of how some people don't seem to be taking the pandemic very seriously. Good evening. With 34 new cases of COVID-19 in British Columbia, the numbers, of course, are going in the wrong direction. Now health officials are linking dozens of infections to an outbreak in the Okanagan, forcing almost 1,000 people to self-isolate. CTV's Penny Daflos begins our coverage. Looking at social media posts like these, you'd never know we're in the midst of a pandemic. When I say f you say COVID. COVID! COVID! Parties and carousing continue in Kelowna with more than 70 confirmed cases of COVID-19 tied to people vacationing there around Canada Day. As a direct result of the recent community exposures in Kelowna, they're now close to a thousand British Columbians in every health authority who are self-isolating at home. In Kelowna alone, there are five times as many COVID tests being done compared to usual alongside contact tracing. While infections have been trending upwards slightly province-wide since early June, Interior Health had few cases. So you can see it's the Kelowna outbreak that's driven the case surge in recent weeks. Don't come to Kelowna like you typically would and, and hope to meet locals and, and socialize and meet new people. This is not the summer to be doing that. Uh, stick with the people you came with. Health officials have warned about exposures at specific locations in Kelowna, but are also alarmed at the relaxed attitude that comes with the sunshine. And the mayor worries it could lead this tourism dependent city back to phase two restrictions. Look, at, if you want to visit Kelowna, act as if this is your home. Behave the way you would there. Um, be respectful of the locals and also act as if the group next to you, somebody in that group may have COVID. Act as if that's the case and take those precautions. Because while being outside reduces the risk. If you are in a crowded location, being outside is not enough. We know that it can be transmitted when you're having close conversations, um, talking, laughing with large numbers of people, even if it is outside. And Penny is here live with more on this tonight. Penny, Dr. Henry is now considering some special rules just for the interior if the situation there does not improve. Tell us more about that. And you know, that's something we haven't seen before, that regional approach, but there are simply too many people going there and socializing with too many other people. So Dr. Henry's not saying don't travel. She's saying stick to your small group. Right now, remember, people are isolating in every part of BC due to COVID exposure.